Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. And last time we came here to meet with River because he's got some kind of job for us. So let's get into it. We just have to, yeah, wait here. Okay. Well, this is the place. Tick, 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 tick. tick. Oof. Okay. Take it, that's River. Just pulled up. Night City Police. Oh, that's the police station, is it? I don't think we could go in there. But, well, anyway, let's, let's, let's. Hey, River. Hey, dude. That was hey, tricks. V. How you holding up? Been better. All right. I know. Probably not hard to tell. Yeah. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. All right. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Mm-hmm. First, take a look. Okay. Oh, all right. What's, what's this, then? News. Hello. My name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. Oh my god. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. Hmm. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. Oh. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. Oh, that's not good. Dead body. Oop. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. Oh, God. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. Oh. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports revealed the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. Good God. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, okay. belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Jeez. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS okay. News for developments in the story. This Peter Pan, <clears throat> he an old case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. All right. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Um. Yeah, tell me a bit more, dude. What's... Randy's disappearance. Know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. Um. What? They figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. Uh. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No. Mm. Um, wouldn't let it go if I were you. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't let it go as your family, isn't it? No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. Oh, God, Sorry, really? Dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. I mean, uh, I don't know how going into the dreams of a... Procedure, but it's already yielding results. ...of a lunatic. They or a dreams weirdo. That played back as BDs. Like that. Ugh. Got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Oh. Ugh. I mean, ooh. I don't know if I want to go into the dreams of a of a weirdo who does things like that to people. 
What would they dream about? Ugh. Gross. Ugh. I, well... Mm. Okay. Night City Police Department. <gasps> what?! Okay. I'm sorry, River. Got an appointment. You're not a police exactly. officer. We'll go in together, but uh, not through the main entrance. Oh, we're gonna break the law. We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Okay. Well, all right. I mean, I just got hit by a car, dude. You're a police officer. You could have done something there. Arrested the guy. Jeez. Those are some short shorts. I mean, those are some short shorts. Good grief. All right, let's, ouch, all right, jeez. God, this place is a death trap. What's this, no, not in here. I'm going this way. Oh, okay. Use tech ability, but I don't have enough tech ability. Um. Can we? No. Can't get in that way. Hmm. Yeah, River, I can't open the door, dude. You're the... Whoa. You're the... You're the... Copper. You do it. Alright. Down, down, down here. Is it true what they say? Not I'm sorry, mate. If you can breach the fence, then look for a way inside. Knowing their funding... I wouldn't expect much pushback from security. No. Can I just go over here? Oh my god. This way. I mean, this this doesn't look like a lab, does it? Okay. Look. All right. Great. What now? We find our entrance. Yeah, we find our entrance. We have an audit today. Should be a ghost town. Quiet. How'd you know about the audit? I did my homework. Well, clever you. I wonder if there's any um, cameras. Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. And we're in. Know where they're keeping the BD? I'm likely the room where they edit the autistic kids' dreams. Should be labeled as Anthony Harris. All right. Um, let's just have a good look around. What's this? Container. Metal and plastic. Huh. Anything else here? What's this? Spray paint. I don't want spray paint. A few of these rooms we probably don't have to bother with. No, but 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 the stuff what there's 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 stuff. Would there be something in here maybe that would tell us something? Aha, here we go. Security update. Important. I would like to remind everyone of the upcoming audit and changes in security. I'm willing to answer any immediate questions you might have. As you're aware, we have had complaints from the NCPD. I know, I know. But we will have to follow the new guidelines. There's no wiggle room on this. At a time, TBD, later, shh, Willow, er, uh, Willow? River, sorry, I don't know why I call it in Willow. At a time, to be decided later, you will all get your new double verification access signatures. You will each receive individual emails with the relevant details. No more of that reply all funny business. Until then, continue your work as normal. Of course, excluding the day we have assigned for the audit. A small step for science, a giant leap for mankind. Good morning all. I would like to congratulate our very own Dr. Yawen Picard on the recent strides she has made in the field of paediatric autism therapy. Her invaluable work has paved the way for more effective therapy applications than the established behavioural methods that teach ESDM and RDI, clearly surpassing all supportive methods. For example, good God. sensory integrity integration and substantially building upon traditional approaches such as music therapy. I speak, I speak for all of us when I say we are extremely proud of Dr. Picard's scientific achievements but also more importantly proud to see the huge inflow of warm letters from happy parents. Keep up the great work everyone. Project decisions for next quarter. Important the following projects have been green lighted to continue next quarter. Neurotransmitters and selective countermeasures in combat. Combating the effects of stress. Cyber psychosis 
audiovisual stimulation in autism therapy, limited environmental stimulation as treatment for antisocial behaviour. We have decided to spend research into transcendental meditation. All those involved in the project will soon receive a more detailed report about the indefinite suspension and information regarding new project allocations. Hmm. Dear team, I like to beat around the bush as much as the next guy, but I'm afraid I don't have the, that luxury this time. First off, you all remember that framed quote I used to have in my office, never trust a person who's never tried to steal. Well, it seems someone took that sentiment too much to heart. Now, don't panic, it wasn't the quote that was stolen. It's safely at home. Rather, it appears a staff member has taken our neurotransmitters research files from the facility with the likely intent of selling them to a third party. As such, all lab employees will be required to take a polygraph before leaving the facility led by our own Dr. Al Tolliver. If Al finds anything troubling from your tests, the next course of action will be ter would be termination, legal action or both. No jokes. I mean this in all seriousness. Let me emphasise, do the polygraph before leaving work. Then you're free to get into your naps, showers, lap dances or whatever it is you people do in your off hours. Have a pleasant day. Sigh. Hmm. This week's audit. Dear all, as you know, this week's audit is simply a formality. We are required by law to periodically evaluate current laboratory safeguards for effectiveness and future modernisation efforts. Remember that this audit is as beneficial to the city's bookkeeping as it is to you and your research, as it is to y keeping you and your research safe. We're all playing for the same team here. Please just treat this as a mandatory day off. Kind regards, Anna Svart Fasting. Fausting? Would that be Fausting or Fast? Fausting it might be. Um, city Auditor. Files, anything in here? Subject AH. Patient transported to hospital 18 minutes after suffering missile wound to the head. Whoa. As the missile penetrated multiple brain layers, a temporary pulse cavity immediately followed. Due to rapid intervention, intracranial pressure was reduced and inflammatory damage to brain tissue was avoided. Despite successful intervention, the patient remains in a coma with estimated chances of waking at only 0.6%. In the event the patient does wake, likely complications may include parasis in the right side of the parasis. Parasis in the right side of the body. Vision impairment, speech impediment, speech impairment, sorry, and cognitive disorders. Estimated value for NCP investigation near zero. A novel phobia, fear of the number 91. In recent years, the list of commonly feared numbers such as 4, 13 and 66 has grown to now officially include the number 91. While the phobias of other numbers have origins well studied by science, for example, tetraphobia derives from the fact that we that the Chinese words for death and four sound familiar, we can only hypothesise about the rise of 91. Patients afflicted by a phobia of the number 91 often complain of recurring nightmares in which a giant countdown reaches 91, then suddenly stops. When they attempt to restart the countdown, it transforms into a bright yellow board with the vermin crawling all over it. Ooh. This shared experience has already spawned unproven conspiracy theories which, among other things, claim the dreams are transmitted via either electromagnetic waves, the digitised minds of a mysterious Netrunner sect, rogue artificial intelligences, or classified nanochips installed by Night Corp agents. None of these outlandish ideas contain a grain of truth, of course, so what is it that causes the phobia to manifest such intense reactions? That much yet remains unknown. But, as so many scientists often claim, the truth is out there. There you go. So without further knowledge of the phobia's origin and its out underlying factors, how can you treat it? Studies thus far have shown promising results for conditioning patients via induced dream states in which the number 91 is inverted to the number 19. Through this method, although this method remains in clinical trials, experts optimistic the 91% success rate will only continue to improve. Really? That's, that's, you, that's silly. So there you go. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? That's what? What? There was HR documents. What? Oh. 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 Don't know what that, that noise was for. Okay. Um. In here. Can we get in? We cannot get in. Hmm. Hello? Okay, what's in these? Oh, hello. What's this? T 
Teachings of the Temple excerpts. Alright. The welcome truth that sleep and death are twin sisters, beneficent, healing and vivifying, is gradually making its way through the scientific as well as the religious world, bearing on its winos faith, faith and trust... Bearing on its winos faith? And trust in the fundamental lays of life which underlie all phenomena and casting down forever the great Moloch of fear which stands at the gate of all men's minds, ready to devour each child of hope which has been conceived and born in the joy of life. All right. Time and space are annihilated in dream life because of the rapid action of the energy of the mind when freed from bonds of matter, and life in a state of dream is a foretaste of what life may be when the coarser grades of matter, which now hold the embryonic god-man in bondage, are refined, and the energy which now must act under all the difficulties man has ignorantly thrown up by unnatural, unwise methods and practices through countless incarnations will then be guided and controlled by the higher or spiritual will of man. For the perfecting of a body as much superior to the bodies of the present races of mankind as the latter are superior to those of the animal creation. What in the world was that rubbish? I I am baffled by that. Maybe that's just me being an idiot, but good grief. Um, what's going on here? Anything? Same message, yeah, same messages here. Files, yeah, fear of the number 91. Meh. Hmm. Can we... Alright. How about this one? What's this? Medical forceps. You know what? No, thank you. Anything on this one? Messages. No, 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 no. Only different one. Caroline Adams. Okay. Lol. And just remember not to mention our latest study to those NCPD slug brains because they, well, they just wouldn't understand it anyway. Hmm. All right. Uh, anything else in here? No. All right. Well. Um. Can't get in that one. We're going to wall. This is obviously the bathroom. No, nope, can't open that or that. All right. Oh, that was just luck in the mirror, wasn't it? Um. So we've been in there. We've been in those. So maybe this way. It's the bathroom again. It's the other bathroom. Anything in here? No. Nope. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Um, fine. Look at this. Posters. Arasaka. Huh. Anything here? Why would you leave the TV on on a day off? What's in here? Ooh. Outer space, my life in orbit. Uh, okay. What's life in space like? Comfortable. Of course, not everything's a bed of roses. Gravity being... Gravity below 1G isn't great for your bones or muscles. Synthesised food isn't to die for, and stuff from Earth is as rare as it is expensive. If you live in a private orbital station, congrats, you're richer than me, you always see the same faces. But if you live in a hybrid station like Crystal Palace, You'll have to live with corporate bachelor parties every weekend. But don't let that put you off. There are more upsides than downsides to living in orbit. First of all, safety. To get into orbit, you need a lot of zeros in your bank account, which means you won't see legions of homeless people, scared out gangsters, or aggressive joy toys. The exception to that being the lunar colonies, but no self-respecting orbital dweller would ever set foot there. In other words, you can walk outside at night unharmed without security and come back home in one piece, wallet undisturbed. Amazing, right? Secondly, quality of service. Anyone in the customer service sector had to rack up an enormous debt to come up here. Their only hope to pay it off within their lifetimes is to rake in a lot, and I mean a lot of tips. Which means they'll bend over backwards to satisfy every whim. 
If you're an employer, you don't have to worry that an employee you just hired and trained at your expense will suddenly quit and go and work for the competition for a few extra eddies a week. Many stations, especially the private ones, simply don't have competition. And if they do, it's basically negligible. Agreements can be made so situations like that don't occur. Thirdly, and most importantly, no government can tell you what to do, where and how. Orbital stations are autonomous and governed by their own laws, and there aren't that many of them. You can afford your, if you can afford your own station, you're the undisputed lord and master of your little corner of space. You want to tie the help up to a whipping post when they made, make a mistake? Go right ahead. Want five wives or four husbands? I'm sure you'll have a line of willing volunteers. Well, that sounds truly awful, doesn't it? Good grief. Back into the... Back into the... Dark ages. Um... Anything in here? Any other bits and bobs? No? Um... There's a laptop. I think it'll just be... M oh, wait. Computer. Computer! Let's have a look. This is flagged. Uh. Yep, yep, yep. Melissa Rory, latest research. Hmm. Based on the latest research on the subject, it appears the patient suffers from relapses of antisocial behaviours. The recommended treatment approach is limited environmental stimulation and increased doses of neuroleptics. See treatment details in attachment. I'll remind you, this is not an isolated case, but a fairly common problem among members of MaxTech. The NCPD is pushing for more resources put into cyberpsychosis research, but our facility simply can't accommodate an uptick right now. Friendly reminder, please email your applications for overtime next quarter by no later than tomorrow EOD. Hmm, end of day? Yeah, uh, what's this then? Brain dance conditioning in cyberpsychosis. Oh god, fear of the number 91 again. Studies that use brain imaging methodologies have shown a progressive reduction in brain volume, but a swelling of the ventricular system and the volume of cerebrospinal fluid produced in people who suffer from cyberpsychosis. Other studies have found differences in the degree of cortical nerve cell depletion between stage 1 cyberpsychosis patients treated pharmaceutically and those who receive brain dance conditioning. Increased loss of cortical nerve cells was detected in those pharmaceutical treatment using pharmaceutical treatment from which it has been concluded that brain dance conditioning has a neuroprotective effect this experiment's results should be taken into account when implementing brain dance conditioning methods in locations with minimal environmental stimulation present well hmm i mean that would be one hell of a way to treat things wouldn't it if you could have like a brain dance type thing where, you know, you could kind of live out the fear or whatever in the brain dance. So it wasn't real, but you kind of could convince yourself that, ooh. Huh. That, um, yeah, you could kind of convince yourself that maybe what your fear is, is, is irrational. All right. Messages. Uh, audit around the corner, I think. Ooh. What's up, Tumster? You know about that audit in your lab coming up, right? Maybe those invoices for Woo all squared away. Maybe get those invoices for Woo all squared away, huh? Don't you got enough of your own paperwork to push around? Leave the invoices for Woo to me. I'll make sure our little piggies don't go hungry. All right. Pediatric... Brain dance treatment for paediatric autism. Hmm. Activity in a developing brain is higher compared to that in a mature brain. This greater capacity to establish neural connections and reorganise cortical and subcortical brain structures allows for substantial compensating abilities, even in circumstances of extensive, extensive brain damage. Unfortunately, in the case of children on the autism spectrum, the problem is one of hyperactivity. An overabundance of firing synapses results in synaptic communication disorders. This study compared children on the autistic spectrum who did not receive any preventative measures with those who received early brain dance therapy. Initial findings suggested the brain dance treatment provides beneficial support for synaptic function. Please refer to subsequent reports for detailed summaries of the findings. Hmm. All right, well, 
Yeah, I suppose this, that sort of technology it could be used to treat those those kinds of conditions. All right. Can't they just leave laptops everywhere? Anything else? Anything in here? Near. I take it the information's in there. I think that's the last place we can look by the looks of it. Yeah. All right. Let's go in there. River, I'm coming, mate. I'm just um. I'm just on the uh, on the nose. Candles. That's a big old candle. My God. Creatine monohydrate. Yeah, you get that. I take creatine, but... Oh, how distressing. Okay, this is, this is a bit weird. I always find it a bit creepy in things like games, like, you know, when they use children. It seems just really... I don't know. We'll have a look in there in a mo, because I think that's where the info is going to be, but... Let's just have a good look around here. Another door. Can't go in. Um, anything else here? Ooh. Some stuff. Um, yes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, when they use, like, kids' stuff in horror games and things, it's mm, not very good. Not very nice. I mean, I'm one of these, me. I don't have children. I don't want children. I don't plan to have any. It's just not for me. But I don't know. There's something weird about about kids in like horror games and stuff. Ugh, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, imperil poisoning. What is it? Imperil, which attracts danger, is the poison resulting from irritability. This poison, a quite substantial one, is deposited against the walls of the nerve channels and then spreads through the entire organism. All right. Anything else here? Ooh, little box, little box under there. Oops. Take it all. Why not? Why not? Yes, it's always very creepy when they um, include children in 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 things. I don't know. I feel a type of way. Okay. Uh, messages. Okay. Yes. Yes. We've read that. Read that. Read that. And we've read that. Have we read this? Oh yes, we have read that. Okay, no problem. No problem. Can't go in there. All right, River. Let's um. Let's see what's in this this weird room full of children's bits and bobs, which is freaking me out a little bit. Perfume. I mean, all right. Okay, a BD chair, obviously. File cabinet. Oh, missed that. B. A. Gusenov. Respiration and intellectual spaces. Have we read this? I think we have. Or maybe we haven't. Okay. One. The theory of imperil, though overly simplistic and never formulated along the lines of requ lines required by modern scientific inquiry is in fact useful as a general principle. Scientists today are all too ready to consign visionaries of previous ages to the dustbin of history simply because they deal with questions of spirituality, putting them supposedly at odds with the contemporary theories. 2. If indeed a person has a self, how can we therefore doubt that the self affects the body? If it exists, then it must exercise influence. In fact, this was proven only a few weeks ago by a group of scientists at the University of Toledo. A study conducted on laboratory mice showed a correlation between regular meditation and a 20% increase in lifespan. Biography of the Fatal Effects of Modern Shamanism, i.e. Grant, Oxbridge University Press, pages 15 to 37. Sensational Mice in Toledo, J.J. Blatvasky. Blavatsky, even, excuse me. Uh, Journal of Alt Scientists, pages two to four. Very interesting. Right, let's 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 do this thing. Do we? Can we? Oh, we don't scan it. We just. Hey, do it. River. Think I got it. Found something. Not yet. Anthony Maybe. Harris. Let's H. try these drawers. It'd be a H, won't he? Yeah. See, River. 
Why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Who keeps Can't files like this? Scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. face. Yoan. What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force. Just suspended, actually. Um. What did she mean by that? He hasn't told you. Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. <sighs> yeah. Huh, protocols. Talking about his nephew's life here. Yeah. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out Can't now. Leave without Peter Pan's dreams. Yeah. I'll say it one last time. Out. Damn it, Yawen. Who the fuck do you think you are? Can I just take them while I'm here? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Oh. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. <sighs> I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. Well, he's desperate. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. This man, he only takes. He never gives anything back. Yeah, he hasn't let River me down yet. and I yet. get along. We're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends too. That why you're refusing to help him out? Yeah. Harris's dream, Beatty. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. But what? Why? He's dead. Is he dead? Is a he bullet dead? damaged his cerebral cortex. Oh. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Um. I'd like to try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. Hmm. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure. Where on an is adult. he? Um Yeah, is there any specific reason why? Let's try. Oh, it. sorry. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try. Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Oh, can we uh, we can ask her Say about the, the relic? Way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Oh, uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. Yep. I'm more curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. Yeah, the, yeah, all right. Okay, um... Well... It's not really got us anywhere, but... Well, maybe we can... Hello? What? Is it this way? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Look at your minimap, woman. Cops seem to like you. Could be this one sniffing around for something extra. Um, yeah, he's all right. What's your problem? No, River's all right. Mm, yeah. Can tell you got something to say, so say it. Go on. Maybe, it. No, no, just maybe this cop's flying straight in your pants. Quite an observation on human behavior coming from a fucking stack of data in my head. Hmm. Well, is somebody maybe a little bit jealous or something? Is that what the problem is, Johnny? <laughs> Stupid. All right, let's go. Can people stop doing that? Right, let's just go. Go, 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 go. I'm here. All right, River. Let's let's have a. All right. Oh. Okay. Let me hear it. Oh, you hear what? Um. 
did. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? Yeah. I don't know. Makes you a bit of a lead head, doesn't it? Yeah. That'd do. Okay. It's just, uh... It's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. Yeah, that'd be the nice. The Josses. Randy's mom. All right. She Josses. thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. All right. Um. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Yeah. Petty theft. Drugs. Running away from home. Mm-hmm. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. <laughs> there are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Um, you haven't mentioned his dad. I assume his dad is either dead or left. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Oh dear. Gang war. Oh dear. Huh. Great role model. Mm hmm. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. <laughs> Gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house, and I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. Mm. Besides, we are trying. Want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Hmm. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line, rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus. Not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. Hmm. I think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered. Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. All right. Uh... Yeah, let's focus on finding the kid first. Really out of focus on finding Randy now. Yeah. Of course. All right, well, good talk. All right, this is it. It's sure been a while. We used to come over every weekend, a long time ago. All right. And changed it all since? Places like this never change. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, moon's nice. Okay, sorry. Miles away. Hmm. Whoa, what was that? Oh, here we Lovely go. Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. You know, unfortunately, you are not a real individual because in that position, I could have enacted a little bit of, I don't know what you'd call it, giving you a swift kick in the, that's it, that's all I'm going to say. What's this? The long return aftermath of the great nomad tragedy. I think we've read that. Oh. They're growing plants here, an aquarium with no fish in it. Okay. Sorry, River, I'm just, um, what's in here? What's this? What's this? River. Nice big bathroom. Okay, sorry, sorry. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. All right. So V, is this about my Randy? We've got to keep the kidnapping on the down low, haven't we? Joss, I, I, I don't know how to say this, but Randy was abducted. Abducted. But he's alive, right? River! Goodbye, son of death, we've read Tell that. me, damn it! Um, Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child. You got no place telling me how to behave. Oh, calm down. Joss. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. 
Just don't destroy anything. Well, why would we? Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Well, all right. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell them it's time to eat. All right. Is this is this Randy's room or is this a kid's room? I think this is the kid's room. Um I think we've read that. I'm sure we have. Okay, um down 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 here. Oh god. Okay. Pack of cards. Greetings from depression? What? I was 15 years old, set to fail four of my classes at school, but I could barely get out of bed, much less drag myself to the bathroom and take a shower. At first, my parents were worried, treating me gently, but after a few weeks, their patience began to run out. And that's when it started. Snap out of it! Just go for a run and you'll feel better. Why don't you talk to your friends? Quit feeling sorry for yourself. What do you have to be sad about? Other people have it worse. Words that... Even after 10 years of therapy, medication and a stint in a psychiatric ward and many, many relapses of depression still ring in my ears. Anywhere, anytime, every day. And they still cut just as deep. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I don't think this is um, the kids' room. All right, I'm coming. Sorry. I'm here. What's on your mind? My mind? I think all the women in your life have character. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? All right, Look whoa. The river! Monique, Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your girlfriend? Just a friend. There you go. You gonna stay over? What? We'll see. Your well, mom's waiting for you. Talking to me. All right. Let's um, take a peep. This um, is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, <sighs> I'll check the trash. Oh. Honestly, he just pops in. Pops out. Get high at home. Didn't we read? Yes, we've already read that. Oh, it tells you! Already read. Okay, fine. Nothing here. Randy's antique key. Well, before we start faffing about with that. Guitar. Record player. Hmm. Tainted Overlord. Sounds lovely. Oh, hello. Cool. All right. Tainted Overlord. Hmm. Favorite band. All right. You know him well. I used to send him an album every year for his B day. Huh. <laughs> Draw. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. But I do. Dear Mother departs. All right. They all die quietly, their dry hands giving a faint rustle as they fall for the last time. They tend to depart this world in November, at the darkest hour of the night, when dawn seems just as far off as the spring that will never return. They leave little behind, a small stack of last century's newspapers, a few chipped cups, clothes already smelling of the casket. Under their closed eyelids fits a muted kaleidoscope of memories, flashing by in no particular order. They die with their gaze fixed on the hardening diorama of a long life that, in its final moments, always seems to have been far too short. Good God, that's a bit depressive, isn't it? Right, so, let's get this key. Jeez. can still see the nicks from those first years we measured the kids. Give me that key. Got some kind of key here. Real fossil. What's Not quite what we're looking for, no. Yeah, but we know what it's for. Ooh. Left his favorite hoodie in the closet. Liber liberum arbiter arbitrium. Excuse me. Flip net. Can't talk. Pretentious banality dumped in a sloppy symphonic sauce. 
Chromatic rock pretender at worst. Caricature at best. Okay, sure, heavy riffs. Check, unique vocal growl. Check, essence of the 60s. Check. But all of it gets drowned out in a flood of cliched dark tones that's too much for even neo-kitsch gen fans to swallow. There's no punch, no curb stomp of edge. Honestly, by the standards of the genre, it's an effing lullaby. I'd love to put this review to bed or in an unmarked grave, but I haven't even talked the lyrics. They made me roll my eyes so violently I sprained an optic nerve. Nowhere was it worse than in the titular track Liberum Arbitrium, the band's anthem about the violations of human free will. What's the enigmatic evil is depriving us of that matters most in life? Yep, you guessed it, corpse. I yawned so loudly, I put the singer's growl to shame. The latest album from Tainted Overlord is nothing short of a chromatic rock mix you burned a decade ago, erased from memory, then found wedged under your couch next to a dusty Carlson's Burger. Carlson's Burger. No, Carlson's Burger, sorry. Diehards of the band will find something to scratch that itch, but anyone else looking for a fresh sound is better off blowing a concussion grenade in a cookware outlet. So the reviewer did not like um, the um, the album. All right, let's open this drawer. Open it. Some kind <gasps> of game here. Shipping code on it. Big trouble in what? I didn't get to read that. Oh, wait. What's this under here? Okay. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this. You're joking. Oh, all right. Hmm. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. All right. And we gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Hmm. Can you crack it? Um. I don't know how. Don't know how, River. Yeah. Damn. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have... Um, Tainted Overlord? Who's the... G oh, there's a girl. The girl. Yeah. His ex, Natalie. Try that. Come on, V. Ex in the pick. What's her name? Natalie? Yeah, try that. Gonna have to keep trying. Um... Oh. Liberum Arbitrium. Dark shit. Sound could use work, but you can tell they put blood, sweat, and tears into it. Well, just, we do, I don't know whether that's copyright or what. V. Randy looks like his tag. Hmm. Don't know why we need the key again. Maybe, ah, did I maybe find that clue a little bit too early? Punch this track title. Liberum Arbitrium. That did it. Hey, look at that. Help me have a look around. Help you have a look around. Well, all right. Move out the way then. Scooch. Scooch, boy. Scooch. Okay. Uh, messages. Sorry. Anthony they caught Harris in a vehicle like that. All right. I meant to call. Sorry. Spent half the day sitting in my Thornton. I remember my that day. Police had all he of Watson blocked off. An old school. Okay. Police had all of Watson blocked off and I was stuck in traffic for hours trying to cross town. I kind of live in an area where I used to go to school, but it looks all different now. So trying to find ways past all those jams made it easy to get all turned around. Hope you're not mad. B Randy to Anthony34. Sorry. Hey, no problem. I needed to help my mum anyways, etc, etc. Do you have everything ready at your place? Almost. Oh, God. I just wanted to say thanks, guests in general. True I'm just... angel of empathy, this guy. Huh? I'm just holding on to the thought that there are more people out there dealing with the same poop. Why are you helping us anyways? I used to be like you, like all of you. I wasn't spared any of life's cruel twists and turns. Worst of it was when my best friend died. Oh no. 
Oh, poo. Sorry to hear about that. Can I ask what happened? Rare muscle disease. His body got weaker and weaker until he was a shadow of himself. I wanted to help him more than anything, but there was just no possible way I could. Of course, anyone who can help, who could help, he couldn't afford. If he just had the means, he could have got some super drug or a new body or... I don't know. Worse luck than the disease was being born into a poor family. Anyway, that's why I do what I do. I couldn't help my best tune, but just maybe there are some people out in the world I can help. Big trouble in Haywood. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I use my admin privileges. Identity. Sent him the game as a present. Good God. Hey, I hope you don't mind, the but... one you found in his drawer? The same. Shipping code suggests the prick sent it from the Badlands. Okay. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I use my admin privileges to find you in RL. That is your home address. Sorry, hope it's not too weird, but I had good reason. There's a gift on its way. A game called Big Trouble in Haywood. You know it? Anyway, hope you like it. Have fun. Effed up again. I'm toking again. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep doing it. Like I guess I'm just a piece of poop. You're a perfectly normal person, Randy. You're just like anyone with a giant... with a... Gannic heart still beating in their chest. Remember, I'm always here to talk, to understand you, to help you. I know you will recover from this, like you always have. A little heart. Oh, Natalie! Thanks for yesterday. The city from up on that tower looked so beautiful. Honestly, I felt speechless. Though maybe that's just because I don't love heights. Really, it was nice. But maybe next time I take you into the city, head to Japan Town, grab a bite... You'll love it once you see it. And oh my god, the restaurant my aunt takes me to sometimes, so Nova. Just let me know. Love you, cutie. Yeah, of course, I had fun too. About this restaurant, we'll see. Not sure I have the time. Hard to promise anything, so we'll see. Wow. Okay. Um, hey, you know you don't have to worry about Eddie's. We already talked about this. Just let yourself be invited to something nice for once. Love you. What do you say? Tell you what, I think your sight's Are really Nova. Do you? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Oh, fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Hmm. Tell you what, I think your sight's really Nova. Think I'm ready to finally meet up in person. Same time and place you wrote before. Because, man, I just can't wait now. Ah. That's right. Same as we agreed. It makes me happy to hear you're happy. Just one tiny request. Delete that first email I sent, just in case. Don't want anyone sniffing around something that doesn't concern them. Really? Um, I understand. I didn't have a normal family either. My mum died young and my dad... He just tried to give me a future. Wasn't easy, though, to make a living on a farm once the cattle pestilence took hold. Eventually, it all just fell out beneath his feet. The cattle, the business, deep depression took his life. I tell you this so you know you're not the only one who's lost a father. I understand you so well. The only real difference is it was nomads that stole your dad from you, and for me, it was corrupt corpse and their dirty money grabs. That's why I hide all my activity from corpse. Trauma team and Biotechnica would be all over me in a second if they knew what I got up to. But I don't have to explain all that to you, Randy. You get it. I know you'll keep this all this just between us, Chumbers. Stay strong, buddy. I know you got it in you. Oh, it's grooming. Oh, oh. Hey, Nat, check out the site. Not Drugs are bad. Been the only person Randy okay. trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Maybe. Hey, Nat, check out the site. Drugs are bad. When you're there, click... On the image, the red one with the people in it. What the hell is this? Some kind of cult? Like, how do you even find this? Just cruising the net, doesn't matter. Wiggy face. Hmm. You alive. Gael to Brandy. B Randy, excuse me. Hey, you won't answer my text, won't answer my hollows. Still alive, man? I have a special delivery for you from a Valentino tomb of mine. You just gotta pick it up. Anyone in Haywood would give both kidneys for this thing, and I'm still holding it for you, free of charge, like some gonk. Do me a favour and answer, because I'm starting to get peed off. Files, what's this? At cat video. Okay, that's a bit weird. Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. 
Yeah, I don't like that. That's weird. Um, Volume 1 of the Blades of Doom trilogy. Chapter 1, Ghosts of Ancestors Salvation. A silhouette of a gaunt female figure began to take shape among the ebb of the inky fog. By its long braid, the woman held a severed head, only one eye socket clearly visible. Decay had already begun to melt the face's flesh, exposing the white of the bone beneath. underneath. The other side fared much better. Then, without uttering a sound, the woman shifted her gaze to pierce the eyes of the weary warrior. Come, kill me, I am ready for death, she shouted with a cold intensity, prepared to meet her end at last. Balbarith. Genius or psychopath? Oh my god, okay. Black Metal has produced countless charismatic characters, but the uniqueness of Aidan Burroughs, also known by monikers Nama and Balbarith, is perhaps in its class in a class of its own in the genre. Vocalist, guitarist, bassist, songwriter, ideologue. Some call him a genius, others an effing psychopath. When a person like Burroughs becomes defined by polar extremes, it's no wonder when he begins to arouse curiosity outside the metal world. There's no diminishing the last mark he's left in black metal, but even music more broadly. Most people most agree he was a drive, the driving influence for a new wave of metal artists and bands like Tainted Overlord, who have managed to claw their way up from the bowels of metal hell to the almost mainstream music scene. All right, well, let's see if we can... We can drugs are bad. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Yeah. Let's find out. Tony Shelter. A page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Okay, Tony Shelter. Welcome, lost stranger. Okay, good to see you, friend. Welcome to Tony's Haven, the place you've been looking for, the place where you can become the best version of yourself, thanks to Tony. Here, I, I live here with my friends. They came here because they were fed up with seeing their life go to waste, just like you. Think of me as a farmer who looks after his livestock. Get acquainted and stick around. Together, we'll show those... Old farms, what we're capable of. No idea what I'm talking about? Don't worry. I'll explain everything in good time. But it's time for you to decide. Do you want to remain a shadow of yourself or become the first person, the person you've always dreamed of being? Come on down. Files? No files. Join us. Introduce yourself and stick around. I know who Jesus you are. River, this is fucked. Whoa. A guy preyed on troubled kids. Made habit to target boys like Randy. Mm. This is my fault. If I just paid more attention. Just talked with him more. You can't blame oh, yourself. Come on. You're not the one at blame here. No. I know who you are. You're the boy that's been rejected by society, left to fend for himself, misunderstood by his family and deprived of real friends. I was once like you. You can stay here as long as you like because you just found your new home. I have a secret special treatment that'll not only get you back on your feet, but will also free up the weight from your mind and shoulders, making you limitless. Everything you need to bust out of your shackles, you'll find them in my haven. You'll become superhuman, resistant to sickness, strong, healthy, invincible. But before we do that, how about we get to know each other first? Shoot over a message at anthony34 at nc.drugsarebad.pub. Remember, you're one of the chosen ones. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're we supposed to. Okay. Here we are. Our mission: stay clean. Contact us, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there was a file here. Deleted, it looks like, but the name's still there. Mm -hmm. That name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Yep. It certainly was. There it is. Hey, look. This is it. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Unfortunately, I can't Not remember. that kind of magician. Oh, 
Okay. We'll have to manage without it. Yeah. That cartoon, River, could be what we've been looking for. Said yourself we need something that'd get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Send it now. Hmm. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. Cool. And that I am a son of a bitch. <laughs> and, uh, uh, come on. Let's grab a bite. Okay. Well, there you go. And we are going to leave it there for today, folks. We will uh, go and have some dinner with River and his family in a little bit. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>